Hello, hello, this is Tom Sapp, Tom Sapp Photography, TomSapp.com. Um, well, today we're going to talk about the best settings to, to set your camera when you're on the trail, the best trail settings. Um, so if you're out hiking, you're in, I like, I, I very much enjoy the Blue Ridge Parkway. I, I would encourage anybody to go there that does enjoy hiking. Uh, Blue Ridge Parkway, Appalachian Mountains, North Carolina, beautiful, beautiful scenery. So if you can get out there, waterfalls are beautiful to photograph. You got a mile hike here and there to get to them, but it's worth it, let me tell you. Um, it's a very, very big part of my life saying that I've been there and done that. Um, but to do that, what you're going to look at, if you have a camera and you're taking it with you, you're going to look at basically your, your average settings. And those are settings that are going to work in most situations, okay? So like for instance, the standard ISO, the ISO that's most usable is going to be ISO 400. That means in low light, it's going to be easy to use. In high light, it's going to be in bright light, it's going to be um, easy to use and, and it will be acceptable. Um, sometimes you do need to, to change your ISO from here to there, but most of the time ISO 400 is your standard walk around, take pictures anywhere kind of, kind of ISO. Um, your, your aperture, now when it comes to aperture, the settings on your camera when you're, you're just taking pictures out on the trailer, walking around, nature hiking, that kind of thing, um, the aperture is basically going to determine the depth of field that you want. If you're using a long lens and you're shooting something that's really far away, um, 2.8 might be good, but as that subject gets closer with that long lens, 2.8's not going to work for you. It's going to give you not enough depth of field, especially if your subject's in motion. Um, now, if you have, like, say, a D3 or a Mark V or a 1DS or something, you know, um, just a high-end camera at that point, they have tracking sensors in them that can track the subject, come in useful, and, and, and it's very, very handy when you're out there if you want to track those animals that you find on the trail. Um, or if you just want to get landscape photography, you can shoot wide-angle lenses at low apertures and get good stuff. But most of the time when I'm out doing nature stuff, um, I find that I want things to be in focus. I want a lot of detail um, because I want to be able to see that scenery. So that's in terms of aperture, that's going to be you know f8, f11. Um, and that's also in most lenses, that's going to be the clearest part of your lens is going to be that middle aperture. Um, whereas if you go up or down, you're going to lose a little bit of quality around the edges of the, the lens or the capture area. Um, so in, as far as shutter speed goes, your shutter speed basically can fall once you, you determine your aperture. Um, and like I, I have an equation for um, getting a good exposure. It's look at your aperture first, then your shutter speed, um, and then you're going to look at your ISO and to make sure everything balances out to get that good exposure you're looking for and the detail. So uh, at 400, ISO 400, that's going to be good detail in your shadows, decent detail in your, in your, um, in your shadows, and good detail in your highlights, okay? So, uh, once you get your aperture, you basically set your, your white balance and, and you're good to go. Now your gear that you're going to take, I would take a wide lens and I would take a long lens. So those are the primaries. You're not going to do a lot of mid-range lenses when you're out there on the trail unless you got some buddies you want to do some portraits of, but even then the long lens would work or you can do something creative with the wide lens. But um, to do landscape photography while you're out there, the wide one's going to be the, the one to go with most of the time. And that long lens is going to be good for getting you know, the, the actual wildlife itself that you run into. So this is Tom Sat Photography. These are things to use while you're on the trail. Have a great day.